The Rock Island number 12 was three hours behind schedule when it stopped in Kingfisher on the run from Dallas to Chicago. Engineer Red Ives was about to drive a train into the history books. A month of unseasonably heavy rain had swollen the Cimarron River and destroyed the railroad bridge just south of Dover. Ives knew nothing of it until engine number 614 plunged into the water. He was found alive the next day on an island 13 miles downstream as newspaper headlines screamed disaster and speculated that hundreds had died. The smoking car followed the engine, tender, and mail car into the water. The smoker was torn in half by the current. A day coach filled with women and children teetered on the edge of the ruined bridge and eventually fell and turned on its side. Locals rushed to the rescue, pulling passengers from the river. Miraculously, and despite the early speculation, only four people were confirmed killed. The rail cars remained in the river for years. There are still some people in the area who can remember using them for swimming platforms as children. And the engine, old number 614, is there to this day, buried in nine feet of sand and is in fact now a part of the bridge that failed. In 1940, the Santa Fe Railroad poured concrete against the engine cab when reinforcing the bridge's footings. I'm Charles Newcomb with Centennial Stories.